Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and today I will share with you my new Dior bag. Today will be the official reveal. So if you have watched my previous two videos, you will have seen that I visited uh, the Purse Affair, which is here in the city in Melbourne, and I was tossing up between one particular Jadior bag and another Dior Revolution bag. Uh, and then I hesitated because I wanted to sell a couple of my pieces, hoping to do a trade on the spot, but the Purse Affair offered me a lower price than I was comfortable with. So anyway, the next day I went over to EMEA, which is another consignment store, pre-loved, just like the Purse Affair. Let me just show you and I'll give you the story later. But basically I bought the bag from EMEA. It's a Dior and I love it. So let's get on to it. So you'll see here that I have a lovely brown Burberry bag with the gold lettering and you're wondering, but didn't you just say Dior? Yes, they didn't have any more Dior bags at the consignment store at EMEA where I purchased this. Uh, so they just gave me another that they had, which was a Burberry. That's okay. I don't mind too much because in the end, it's not, this is not the bag I'm too worried about. <sighs> Here we have my first ever Dior bag. So I have a couple of other little Dior pieces, but not an actual bag. And this is a bag I've wanted and lusted after for about five years. Ever since Amy Elizabeth bought hers for her 40th, I've just always wanted it. But this one, I'll give you the story at the end was one of those just you know universe coming all together moments so here we have the beautiful dior box now i have to be honest when i first picked this up it did have a few black marks here and there like you can see this one just there so i went over it with an eraser you know so i did that and i had a couple of other marks elsewhere so that's the bag uh, the box <laughs> and I love the Dior boxes because they're not just smooth they've got this texture to them so a little they look a little bit like caviar leather don't they so lifting up the lid we have the Dior actual Dior tissue paper if you can see there the Dior uh, written into it oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> wowza I have wanted this bag for ages and inside the box we have another little bag inside the box you can see is the original cushioning the pleated and folded up uh, concertina type of folds that Dior does to act as a little cushion for the bag so that's in there and that's all there is just more tissue paper so I shall remove this out of the way then here is the Dior dust bag and it's a beautiful sort of not linen it's like a um, it's like a twill fabric it's got the white drawstring it's got the Dior written across the front in the gray just like the box <sighs> inside is this lovely sort of slightly brushed so it protects the bag inside the dust bag we have some of you probably already know the Dior Revolution flat bag <laughs> so the reason I mentioned the previous two videos and my vlog at the purse affair just at the beginning of this video is because it was one at the purse affair which looked just like this in terms of color obviously the style and everything the difference was that that one had the matte blue hardware and it was a matte leather and it like even the hardware of the hooks and so on was all matte blue you know it must have been part of that matte range that Dior started I think about a year or so ago anyway long story short I nearly bought that that one was 3300 uh, the payout was just a bit high for me at the moment and I was hoping that I would have received a little bit more than their offer for my Louis Vuitton Kirigami and the Louis Vuitton Sunset Boulevard but it wasn't to be so I just thought no nope, I'll wait and you may have heard Jessie Jessie Styles voice in that video because she was there and she works there as you would know and so I was asking her advice about it and what she thought and all the rest of it anyway she did say to me she goes look you know what plenty of bags out there the right bag will come along and lo and behold that afternoon I came home I felt a little bit de dejected and so I started looking online again 
and I had come across EMEA a few days earlier and I knew that they had that. So at the time on the EMEA website, they had this listed at 2,990, something like that, right? And I thought, well, it's cheaper than the Purse Affair, so that's okay. And then when that same day that I saw the original matte one at the Purse Affair, when I came home and looked up EMEA again, I saw that they had reduced it to 2,330. And I was like, oh, no way. So I quickly messaged my friend Krista. I messaged Amy Elizabeth because I was talking to her about this bag um, and it was just like holy smokes I can't believe it I, I walked away from the other one and then this one popped up not that it not that it popped up on my radar because I had already seen it like I said but it turned up at a discount and I thought oh my god so I immediately immediately messaged them and it was like evening by that stage can I please make an appointment to come in because with Amir you have to make an appointment uh, so can I please make an appointment there was no answer and I was just like thinking about it all night and I woke up a couple of times and you know if you wake up during the night over a bag you need to have that bag am I right or am I right that's what I say to the kids at school am I right or am I right so <laughs> my point is that I woke up quite a few times thinking about it and I was petrified I was going to miss out because it had been reduced <sighs> next morning Still no response. So then I rang. I think I waited until whatever time they opened and I rang and I made an appointment and um, I arranged to be in there by about midday that day. So I bundled up my daughter. I said, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. She goes, oh, mom, do I have to? I said, yes, yes, come with me. Give me your opinion. I need you to come. So anyway, she did. And she's so good, I must admit, you know, because she really tolerates me and entertains me when I go and look at all these pretty things. The point is she puts up with me. So she came with me and we walked in and that's when i did my second vlog and i had a look <laughs> oh my god it's so pretty it is so pretty so this is the beautiful pebbled leather navy and gold hardware now the gold hardware does have a slightly aged look about it and you probably can't see it so much on the dior here the plaque but you can see it on the hardware it's sort of got that slightly weathered look if you can see let's not focus on my double chin let's focus on the hardware shall we anyway that's that and this one in particular you'll notice this flap and that's because it's set on a shorter setting uh, in order to avoid having this flap hanging down so much you would need to set it so that it sits longer but this is a good setting for me so as I said it's got the gold hardware it's got the two uh, clasps or the d-rings fittings here on the sides that's the side of the bag. The glazing is all intact. It does have this triple pocket effect. Now, usually I'm not a fan of those, but I won't be using those that much. That's the back. There's no pocket or anything at the back, but that's okay because this bag is so easy to use that it's easy just to lift the flap and take things in and out. I wouldn't actually want a back pocket on this because the leather's so soft, it might actually give and stretch too much. So that's the other side, and as you can see, it's got that reinforced leather tab there. That's the base, so no feet, no basic human right being met there, but all the glazing is intact. So, of course, I will be very careful with this one when putting it down. You know, I've seen some people put their bag down and then drag it across a bench top or a countertop or a whatever, whatever surface, and I just cringe. It's like, you know how some people don't like the sound of nails on a chalkboard? Um, that doesn't bother me, but watching people scrape their bag across the surface, that bothers me. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. The one thing about this bag is that it can be used to do that. So if you just wanted to carry it around like that, you could strap dangling or remove the strap and just carry it as an oversized clutch maybe. Oh my God, you can do that too. And the strap itself is a very wide one so it'd probably be about an inch and a half wide and it's got the rivets for the settings uh, this also is adjustable so if i wanted to make this longer then i would just pop these out and position this one here as in like this hole over this one here to make it longer both sides plus you've got the adjustability of the strap here this leather is so soft it is soft it is velvety, it's just, it's smooth, but it feels durable all at the same time. And I intend to be wearing it like this 
crossbody and I'll have some mod shots showing of me trying it on in store and that's what it looks like it is gorgeous let me show you the inside so you will have already have seen a sneak peek when I lifted it before this has a flap and the flap has the opening which fits over the clutch section and inside is this magnificent bright royal blue so while the outside is like a navy this is also navy but leans more towards a royal blue naturally there's going to be a line happening here because this is the most supple soft beautiful suede truly beautiful and of course that line is going to be there because of the nature of it sitting across the front flap you have christian dior here in gold Paris and that looks like it is stamped on it's not embossed or anything so that's just the gold foil oh, here we have the three pockets so you've got your main central pocket which is all the suede the bright blue suede beautiful zip pocket here at the back the zipper pull on the zipper pocket <laughs> is this navy and it's got the little CD gold detail at the end Louis Vuitton pay attention it's got the pocket just in there it is well stitched if you can see all the stitching along there so it's not like a lining that's just been sort of fitted in that you can pull in and out oh, it's been done so well here is the front pocket and it is the pebbled leather on this side and the suede on that side and this back pocket across here and you'll have to be careful how you hold it of course because as you can see it's a very soft leather there is here another slim back pocket and in here there was the envelope and this envelope is grey it's got the Dior and in it is the little Dior booklet you will see some impression here of ink because unfortunately the salesperson when this was purchased uh, stamped the card and then put them together while the ink was still wet so it does have some of this I don't know if that can come off maybe maybe not then inside the envelope is the Christian Dior authenticity card and on the back there is the serial number and like a barcode and this was purchased on the 4th of October 2018 so it's three and a half years old and this was purchased from Chess and Dior which is upside down because there's the card that way but that salesperson, salesperson was clearly in a hurry because they stamped it upside down so that's what was in the bag this is my latest edition it is a stunning piece I'm so glad I finally have it and this was a wish list item and ever since Amy purchased hers and showed hers and has styled hers on her Instagram and by the way uh, her Instagram is one of the best Instagrams that I follow seriously uh, ever since and every time she shows this I just want it more and more so this happened to fall into my lap so now what I'm going to do is share with you the EMEA experience because it was somewhat different to the Persephone experience and with the Persephone I've not purchased anything with them yet although I did sell my Louis Vuitton double zip pochette in the ivory and the beige uh, that sold through them uh, and that was a very you know well organized seamless transaction and process no faults there at all with EMEA you needed to make an appointment so as I said earlier I had made the appointment I went in I brought my two pieces that I had hoped to sell and to do a trade to put towards the price of this and uh, if you also remember when I purchased my Gucci silver bracelet I talked about how through work I filled in on a Saturday numerous Saturdays in an emergency capacity to cover other teachers who couldn't do their Saturday sport coaching and attending at the match and so when you do those additional sport emergency covers my work gives staff a $150 voucher so I didn't get it in cash I got it in vouchers and they were those generic debit card type vouchers that you can use anywhere thankfully so I had I think I used two or three for this bracelet and I had another three that I had earned since uh, those three that I kept aside that I knew I was going to put towards something special and then I saw the original black Jadior bag 
on the purse affair and that's the one the same concept in terms of style and that was the black it was like a smooth crinkled uh, leather I don't know what type of leather but it was smooth and crinkled and it had Jadio across the front which I didn't want as much but I still liked it and then they had the strap that came with it was that fabric uh, strap with some silver stud work across it beautiful if you so if I'll link that video below if you want to go and see what that one looked like and I went there to look at that then I saw the other blue and so long story short I came to this one at Amir so I walked in there we rang the bell they answered they said hello I said hi my name is Tanya I have a 12 o'clock appointment with Queenie and Queenie has given me permission to refer to her in this video and uh, so she then came out of their little boutique and she met me at the door the door was like, you know, buzzed open for me or whatever the word is, clicked open, walked in with my daughter and she uh, escorted us to the room. They are not set up like the Purse Affair with glass displays and shelving with all the bags on display. They have like one wall that is sort of shelving and cubes in a way with all the boxes containing the bags and whatever else in there and they've each got a code on the box so although I initially talked about the Navy Dior revolution bag that didn't matter to her because when we spoke on the phone she wanted to know the code okay so we walked in there's a lovely little couch lounge area they've got beautiful things on display there's one wall towards the back or the front I suppose or one end of the room where the main desk is and they've got all the Hermes pieces sitting there and the counter with all the Hermes Hermes um, SLGs and wow just just wow but they didn't have for example Chanel bags on display like the Purse Affair does they had some Hermes Kelly's and Birkins and they had the sh the Birkin shadow oh my god it was so interesting I was too scared to ask to touch it <laughs> but they had those locked in a glass cabinet and then behind there there must have been like their storage room with more bags and more uh, inventory let's say so anyway she then brought this out in the box she wore her gloves and she took it out and I just looked at it and I touched it and I said yes I didn't deliberate for very long I just said yes so then I showed her my pieces and I had told her earlier in the morning when I rang and made the appointment that I was going to be bringing in two or three pieces. The Saint Laurent sort of pale pink card holder, but they're not worth selling to the consignment stores because you'll get nothing for them because although mine is in exquisite condition and all the rest of it and I never used it, uh, you just don't get much so you're better off trying to sell those privately so that's one piece I'm still going to try to sell uh, I brought in my Louis Vuitton Kirigami set which I bought two years ago and I know it was two years ago because I remember what was happening at the time and I think I used the middle pouch a couple of times uh, and then the other piece was my Vernie Amarant Sunset Boulevard so that beautiful dark dark plum color um, little wallet on chain and that one had the short strap so I sold those um basically they offered me a thousand dollars for those two pieces but it was almost instantaneous because she said that uh, when we agreed on the price I said yep okay that's fine she said what we need to do now is go through our process of authentication in the afternoon and the evening and then we will transfer you the funds the next day I said okay not a problem so I said there won't be a problem with authenticity it's, it's all fine so I had dust bags only I didn't have the boxes and uh, so that's the way it went so this bag that was originally 2990 was reduced to 2330 and then uh, I also brought out those $350 each vouchers when we did the transaction she put each of those vouchers through then getting my thousand dollars back the next day I ended up paying out of pocket for this bag $880 <laughs> now yes the vouchers were money don't get me wrong they were money I earned them basically because I gave up so many of my Saturdays to do all of that supervision so my point is that out of pocket from my account I paid $880 for this bag and sometimes things work out really well and sometimes they don't. I'm glad it worked out this way because this is actually the one that I really, really, really wanted. So although I wasn't necessarily settling for the other two, because I did also like those, this is the one that had my heart. Uh, and it just, it just happened. So 
that's my EMEA uh, Dior bag story. So let me know what you think of this beautiful bag. Do you have this bag? What do you think of this leather? I will do a what fits in this soon, I must admit. I still have to do what fits in all my other bags that I've shown you recently. I look forward to reading your comments as always. Take care. God bless. Happy Easter. It's currently Easter Sunday here. And I'll see you next time. Ciao. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so stupid. <laughs>